Aloha, this is Jonathan. Um, I just want to have a little chat with you guys. Just, you know, food for thought kind of thing. Um, when someone calls themselves a coach, are they really a coach? I think that if you want to be a coach, you have to have coaching skills, which is not something people are usually born with, you learn coaching skills, either by being a coach, right? But you have to actually be a coach and not just like, okay, here's an example. Say a football coach. What would you think if he just gave his team a pep talk in the locker room. And then he and the opposing team's coach went off to the bar to have drinks together while their two teams went on the field to play the game. Would you really consider them coaches? Because I wouldn't. So um, any coach I've ever worked with any coaching that I've ever done, because I actually am a certified health coach, uh, usually involves a, a contract um, lining out exactly what the coach is supposed to do and what is expected of the coachee, okay? What's expected of both of them. That's what the contract is for. If there's no contract, uh, that's red flag. Um, Most coaches I've ever worked with and the coaching programs I've ran myself are usually three to six months with bi-weekly check-ins. I mean, nowadays it's usually on Zoom, right? But can be in person for some coaching. Um, and you check in bi-weekly just to see how things are going, what things are causing trouble, how things could be different, or, you know, maybe some tips and tricks the coach knows that the coachee doesn't, right? It's an ongoing relationship. It's not a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There's no just, you know, if, if you come across someone who claims to be a coach and their idea of coaching is a single chat that they want to charge $400 for, kindly and politely say no thanks because coaching is a relationship. Coaching is something that's ongoing, right? It's not a, I don't know, I just don't understand some people. Anyway, needs to say this whole thing started because uh, someone offered their coaching in exchange for one of my necklaces. Um, I love my necklaces, many other people love my necklaces too. Um, so here is the necklace I made for the coaching I never received. Um, yeah, a single talk with uh, information I could have found on a Google, quick Google search is not worth $400 to me. Um, and I th think this was never meant to be because I've never had a necklace fight its creation as much as this one did. Um, so I am going to help uh, myself release my magic because I have not made anything since I made this one. And I'm also uh, going to release myself from any contracts with this person who already blocked me. So what's the point? Okay. There we go. Let's free first this lovely green opal, right? You know, okay, it's not quite opalized, but it is opal. So it has that energy, that power. Uh, there we go, we're releasing that energy. Ugh. Oh, wow, yeah, feels better already, doesn't it? And I will sort through these later, obviously. Right now, I just want to free all of this, all this energy needs to get released. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can feel.
feel the energy flowing better. The constriction that I've been feeling for months since I made this thing. Making this necklace literally made me bleed. I've never bled for one of my necklaces. It just, yeah. Let's free these two. So they can be reused in something better. Uh, so, my uh, final thought is be careful who you do the business with. Make sure you get a signed contract outlining exactly what you expect from each other because one person's idea of coaching is another person's idea of a scam. Um, and, you know, I think you can kind of tell who is who by uh, what just happened here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, release, 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 and we're gone. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Aloha and ahuyo.